So let's go up the main part. So it starts with concrete steps. And then we go into these kind of rinky dink metal ones. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be exploring this place behind me. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it looks pretty cool. I passed by on the way to Mr. Steve's camp and it looks pretty cool so I figured I'd make a video on it. But before we get started and we go explore that place, I don't ever say this enough in my videos and I really should, but I just want to say thanks to each and every person that subscribes and loves and watches my content. Thank you so much for watching and I have plenty more awesome videos for you guys in the future. And let's go ahead and start exploring this one now. So this is what it looks like when you're walking up on it. I'm not really sure what it is, but there's a big old like staircase that goes up up to this big old like drum type thing. So we're gonna go up there, but first we're gonna look around and see what all they got up in here. And where we're at over here is pretty much like Snake City. So we gotta be super careful and, and, and watch for snakes. You could tell nobody's been in this place in a long time. So I want to go up on that spot over there, but I think we're going to wait and do that towards the end because people are going to be able to really see me from the road there. So we'll do that last. And I think we're going to start off start off with going up this ladder and seeing what's up there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get on this ladder and go up there and see what's in there. It looks like sand or something might have went in there at one point. Or this could... or this, Shoot. Or this could be like a... Uh, concrete place back in the day but you could tell ain't nobody been here in a minute make sure this thing's gonna hold us all right hope there ain't no wasp up here oh it's covered now looking more in, into this up here i think this was more for concrete or something but if you guys know what it is let me know because i'm not really sure what this place is but this is what we see for where we're at and i'm trying to stay a little bit like ducked down because i'm gonna show you guys the roads right there i don't really want nobody to see us here until we're like about to go in case they try to come make a stop you know because we got to get the footage for y'all but yeah so this is what we can see from up here some like valves and pipes things back there that i guess I don't know how the wind sounds on the camera, but if it's windy, I'm sorry. But yeah, so they got like a cover thing on here. Cover thing on that side. This one must have broke or something. Looks like it's fiberglass. This is where we are, way up here. And that's where Crystal is down there. We're going to head back down this ladder right here. And then we're going to go back and get on top of that one. But before we get on that one, we're going to explore and check out some stuff down there at the bottom. So let's go. So that's what we came up, and that's what we got to go back down. All right. This was some kind of control box. And it looks like people done ripped all the wires and stuff out of it. Probably trying to scrap the metal is what I would think. And here's the other one. Like, we were just on, on this one. And this is the other one. But it's the same thing, and you guys could see you know that one from the top of the other one so i don't think we really need to climb up that one again these that is a big pipe i wonder what used to come out of there It'd be cool if we could find some kind of like writing or something on it so you know like help us figure out where it's coming from and stuff or what was in there i just seen some huge electric motors over here though let me show you guys these motors these things are huge I guess we should have known they make electric motors this big, but I ain't ever seen one this big. Y'all ready? Look at this thing. This is an electric motor. Drive something in there, and I'm guessing it makes a creates a pump or something. But look how big this electric motor is, y'all. Like, geez. That thing is huge. It looks like this little like rolling thing right here that might have been what they had like hooked it on so they could roll it up under here and get it placed in right here but this is the other one and this one actually has the cover taken off and you could see like more up inside of it looks like them copper coils 
And it looks like somebody painted them, though. I don't think you're supposed to paint that. But yeah, this is pretty cool. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments if you guys know what they might have had in these tanks or what these big old electric motors could have been. But I do kind of want to know if we can like find some writing on it or something that might indicate what they used to store in it. I think we're going to go up this ladder to this thing with the big old pipe on it and see if we can see like what it could have been in there or if it's closed off or what's up there. So let's get it. Still got to keep keep a big old eye out for snakes. This is probably snakes paradise out here. Dang, getting all dirty. It's all right though. You got to get a little dirty to get some dope content. So that's where we was when we climbed up the first ladder. We ain't gonna go up this one because it's the same thing as that, and you guys can pretty much see what's up there from here. We climbed up this other tank thing. I was trying to get up here and see if they had like any writing or something that might show what was in these tanks whenever this place was, you know, in action. But it's just all super rusty. Paint's peeling off and there ain't really nothing under there. But that's just a big old pipe for stuff to be coming out of here. I just wanted to know. Also wanted to let you guys know too. I'm sure y'all see these shirts that I wear in the videos. We got some merch. If you guys want some of this merch, you can hit me up. Plus... Uh, in about a week or two, I'm going to be having another shirt drop with, you know, different design. We'll have two different types of merch out after that one drops. But whenever I get that one in and I'm still working on getting the actual photo digitalized and stuff. So whenever I get that one in, I'll definitely let you guys see that. But for now, this is the BFY t-shirts. Hit me up if you guys want any. So now we're about to head down from here, go down over there and go explore what's up in there. And some stuff, more stuff on the bottom. And then we'll go back up to the top of that one and then... That'll probably be it for this place, but this place is pretty cool. So let's go see what else we can find. We're about to get some parkour, y'all. Oh, parkour. Y'all ain't know I could do that. Old water fountain. Get you some drink. And just a bunch of really old paint. If there was anything ever left in here, I'm sure people around here already raided it years ago. This is the front of the place. And this is the main thing that we wanted to climb up. I just wanted to save this for last because it's closer to the road and everybody can see us right now. So here's some more of them big old pipes that transfer, I'm guessing, the stuff from all these different containers into the main one or where or the trucks that pick them up. This they had a water fountain now for people. Oh no, you know what this was guys? This was in case you got anything on you, you got something in your eyes that wash your eyes out. I'm sure you could drink it too. But from being in uh, welding class and stuff, they had something similar to that. I'm pretty sure that's to wash your eyes. And then you got to shower if you get some chemicals on you or something. So let's go up the main part. So it starts with concrete steps. And then we go into these kind of rinky-dink metal ones that we got to be careful about. The hose up here. I mean, that hose has been up here for so long, it's dry rotted. All right, y'all. So here's the top part. This is the top of the main tank that you can see from the front. Let's see if we can get some cool little footage while we up here. I'm hoping you guys can see me. We're going to try to hit a little backflip on here. You ready? Woo! I hope you guys can see that, but we did that little backflip on there. And I'm going to give y'all a high look at this place, like from over. thought somebody was coming I'm gonna give y'all a high look at this place from over and then we're gonna get down here and get out of here before we hear too long and somebody comes this is the main part on this main tank that we're on and that's the road like I was saying that we're gonna get seen whenever we're up here so we're about to get down this is where I did that backflip for y'all I know that wasn't like the best backflip ever, but I couldn't just do it fast because I didn't want to make sure I didn't land on that. That would have been major problems. <laughs> Don't want to land on that. That's another electrical motor, by the way. They had a bunch of electric motors. All right. So let's go. All right. All 
all right y'all i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video on exploring a abandoned concrete plant i'm not exactly sure what it's called but to me it looks like a concrete plant so if you guys know what it could be called or if it's anything else let me know in the comments below and again i just want to say thanks to everybody that watches and subscribes and loves my videos thank you so much for watching and i got plenty more cool videos for you guys coming we we'll drop one every week thank you so much for watching if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one later